Hey, how's it going? I'm Ina Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so it's almost I think going to be a bit of a short one this time. Um I know this is gonna be going up a few weeks from now. Um so by the time this one goes up I will be probably less emotional about it. Um but I definitely feel it's something that I need to do now rather than this is one of too long. Um so last week was a little bit of an eventful week. Um I had my COVID jab on the Monday. Well, uh, which as far as I'm aware went fine apart from I've now got like a little bit of a pinkish patch on my arm which means I appear until like a week later I don't know if that's normal or not. Um but I don't feel ill with it. It's a bit itchy but uh, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Um, on the Tuesday, I woke up, um, running on cleaning the jobbers out anyway, um, whilst I was cleaning them out, I noticed that there was a little bit of diarrhea in the cage, um, which I was very quickly able to trace to Mew, who wasn't looking too great, um, so I went up to the vets. I went out with both of them, just, you know, can't take a chance with small animals, um, just to get them both checked, just in case, you know, Tullaby just wasn't showing any obvious signs or anything. Um, Tullaby was fine at the time. Um, he was given some antibiotics, and I was basically told to keep an eye on both of them. Um, I didn't really have any way of properly separating them, um, but, you know, within, within a few hours of having her first lot of antibiotics, you started to perk up a little bit. Um, and the following day, she was looking a lot better. Um, and, and by like the third day, I, I'd stopped worrying quite so much about her. Um, then Friday morning, um, I woke up early. I just woke up early because I do sometimes. Um, I came out to find that Celery was in the bowl that I use for their um, bathing sand, which they pretty much use as a litter tray. Um, I don't think too much of it, um, I just thought she was up early. Um, so I went in to make a fuss of her and she didn't really react, which again isn't necessarily unusual, but at the same time, because I know they've not been, you know, I know Mew hadn't been well and I'd been keeping a very close eye on them. Obviously, I was like, okay, let's, you know, just double check. Um, I touched her back and she startled like she would normally, um, and then she was very still. At which point I kind of knew, okay, that's, that's not right. I mean, usually she'll startle, she'll freeze for a little bit, and then she'll, you know, be her little self. Um, stop worrying about it quite so much. And I also noticed there was a slight clicking noise um, when she was breathing. So obviously it was far too early in the morning to actually get her straight to a vet. As much as I, I wanted to, um, I kept my eye on her until the vet's opened. Um, once the vet's opened, I was straight on the phone. I got an appointment. I didn't take both of them over this time because, you know, Mew was definitely doing a lot better. Um, so, and, and she already had antibiotics. So if it was, you know, she, she was already on what she would need to be on um, if, if it was anything. Um, so, got to vets. That wasn't 100% sure what was going on with her. Um, Gave her an injection of antibiotics and anti inflammatories. Um, and basically was like, well, we'll just we'll just have to observe, see what happens, um, see how she goes. Um, 
she came home and I kept her in isolation um, as best I could. So I kept her in the box that I'd travelled um, to the vets with her in. Um, I managed to find a spare water bottle. I wasn't completely sure that I had it, but I managed to, to actually find it. Um, and I roughly managed to set that up. I, I put a little bit of food in the box with her and I just kept an eye on her, uh, made sure she wasn't fussed too much. Um, but unfortunately, So that was on Friday, and I'm filming this on the following Wednesday, so it's still only really been a few days. Um, I have been keeping a close eye on you because obviously gerbils are social animals, um, they can feel lonely really easily, um, and they do mourn their companions. Um, so I've been, uh, I've been very worried about her and I've been at work. Um, I took the Saturday off, uh, but I've been at work the other three days, apart from today when obviously I've got today off as well. Um, she's, she's getting there. Um, I, on the Saturday I cleaned out the cage and the play area with as deep clean as I could um, because I've read that you know, getting rid of as much of the scent of uh, of celibate as possible will help her although it um, It's one of those things which feels like a very strange thing to have to do. Um, but at the end of the day, it is what's best for, for me. So the cage has been cleaned out twice in the last week. Um, I mean, I think it probably helped a little bit that it had been deep cleaned um, after I found that me had been sick, because obviously I didn't want... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's, it's one of those things. It's just one of those things. Uh, as I said, by the time this goes up, it'll have been a few weeks. Um, but I just felt like it should be filmed now. Um, just because I don't really know what else I would want to talk about this week. Um, so even though, as you can see, the emotions are still pretty raw. Um, I don't think I'd have been able to concentrate on talking about, you know, anything else. <laughs> um, especially since, you know, um, I've, I've talked about both of them on the channel before back probably not too long ago um, so it's one of those things where I just yeah okay so I know I don't usually do something like this but I thought it would be best to add it at the end of this video and uh, the reason will become very clear why um, So, after a couple of weeks of her attempting to learn to live on her own, I started to notice signs um, that she wasn't necessarily doing as well as I would like. Um, I was hoping it was still loneliness. Um, there was no definite indicators that things would decline, but I had noticed that she started eating her favourite treats a lot more slowly. Um, I had noticed that she would occasionally 
Just sit there with the eyes closed, rocking slightly. Um, and then on Sunday, um, I woke up to find that you had started to definitely decline. Um, she was showing very clear signs of deterioration at that point. I was fairly confident um, from a lot of the things that I had read um, that she wasn't sick, that it was just old age. As such, I made the decision not to take it to the bed. I felt at the time it would have been too much stress for her and that it might well have killed her just by itself. So instead, I spent the last two days making her as comfortable as possible because she was so wobbly and, and unstable. I took off the top part of the cage and set her water bottle up and her food up in the lower part of the tank so that she could get to it more easily when she needed to. Um, I moved the tank I moved the tank onto the couch next to me <laughs> Then I set her up in my bedroom for a night. Let she would know there was someone there. And yesterday, Yesterday she made it very clear she wanted to be there. She would move towards my hand and rest against it if I don't know her in the tank. And she would occasionally climb onto it. So I would take her up. And I would have her on my lap for a bit. And she would just snuggle against me, I guess. Um, Have you seen that I attempted to stay up with her last night but because I had not been eating very much because I'd been worried about her and just wanted to be there for her because I'm not used to staying up late because um, my insomnia means that I try to keep to a very strict routine as much as possible. I was eventually too tired to sort of remain awake um, shortly before 11 o'clock. So I decided to go back into the tank um, and just kept me out for any time she moved. <laughs> so it wasn't exactly a great night's sleep. Um, I remember getting woken up by a lot of movement around 2 o'clock. Um, she seemed to settle down after I petted her for a little bit and sort of excuse me to her for a little bit like when she kind of knew that I was there she sort of set herself down again and then shortly before I woke up at about five um, I had some more movement and I did my best to sort of make a noise at her uh, as I was so tired, I was struggling to come round. Um, and then, shortly after five, because I'm not exactly the best at sleeping. Um, anyway, yeah, regardless to when it's a situation like this, um, I woke up and I found. <sighs> Thank you.
that shit was about to <sighs> No, I'm not exactly giving myself a whole lot of time for doing this video or this uh, addition to the video. Um, since I'm pretty sure this is the next video to come out, I wanted to make sure that I was able to tag this on to the end of it. And if that one that I need to tag this on to the end of it. Obviously, having you cremated, like I had a sister cremated, and I know there's enough room in the end that I have for both of them. So that's where she's going to end up when she's returned to me. <laughs> it's been a very hard month. It's not over yet, so God only really knows what else is going to happen. Um, anyway, so I'm going to leave this one here. Um, and uh, I'm not going to really do my usual cheery sign off um, and, you know, and that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> hey baby, who's a good girl? Who's a very good girl? I'm a good girl too, Selby. Good girls. Minis. Oh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Not very many though, because she's still poorly. Good girl. Selby! Selby! Good girl. Good girl. Lucky, lucky girl.